Well, hello there, everybody. Trey here, and welcome back to the Little Red Planet. Today, we are back out in Occupy Mars, and I hate jinxing myself, but I feel really good for this episode. I feel like we are well prepared to have a very successful episode. I have been grinding a little bit off recording, and I have replanted my plants because I think I finally have dealt with my energy issue. Uh, just tested it today, and uh, yeah, we had energy all night. So yeah, I added quite a few more solar panels to my system, and today we need to find blueprints. I'm, I'm truly locked in this game until I unlock some more blueprints, so I have actually spotted one quite local to me. And by local, I mean at least it's on my map here. We have this small base over here. There's also this base I've never looted, so uh, that's going to be a great trek. It's about 2,000 meters away that way. And yeah, we're just going to head out and hopefully get some decent upgrades today because, uh, oh wow, I actually have 200 in my uh, capacity already. So we are doing fine for energy now. I, I mean, I would hope so. Look at how many freaking solar panels I have on this system now. I can't believe how difficult this is. Oh, why is this at 73? God damn it. All right, well, that's a should be enough to get out. Oh, wait, did I go on the wrong one? No, I think I did go on the right one. Wait, have I not been charging this? Oh, man. Or is 1% not enough? <laughs> I've been putting 1.1 kilowatt in. So being that our energy is doing okay now, we'll up that to 5.7. I don't think that's going to run into an issue over here. Mind you, 73% should be more than enough for what I want to do today. So... Uh, yeah, let's just leave with a non-full battery pack. Yeah, this might be the coolest base I've seen. I'm super excited to loot this. I hope there's some good stuff there. It's also freaking massive. It's just a bunch of glass domes. And then we have our smaller base over here, which has the blueprint. Perfect. Side by side. Is that a rocket over there? New tech. I didn't know I gained XP just driving this around. That's cool. But also, yeah, I'm seeing, I think I see a downed uh, ship over here. So let's go check out that as well. Ooh, okay. Um, that might be kind of hard to get to. Ah, uh, we might be able to get over. Oh, God, Jesus. Yeah, I don't think I'm ATVing through this ground. This is kind of insane terrain. I haven't seen anything like this. Okay. 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 <laughs> God damn it. I got the helmet leak. All right, so I still should be alive. I don't think I have a helmet repair kit with me, though. And I'm going to be rapidly losing oxygen now. Great. Great, friggin' great, man. Oh, God, I don't know how long I should stay out here. I do have two um, oxygen tanks, so I might be okay. This is dope. Oh, can I get in here? What is this? Circuit breakers? Okay, so... Ooh, I wonder if I got to connect power to this to open it up. It does, as you can see, there's definitely loot in here. Oh, this is intriguing. But I don't think I can get in here until I have power to it. So we'll come back to this when I'm not slowly dying. Um, yeah, I kind of can't waste time now, now that I have a stupid cracked helmet. Ugh. But yeah, I'm wondering if I can connect maybe a solar panel to that connection plug. I might be able to get inside. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm just watching my oxygen bar. It is rapidly depleting. So what I think we'll do today is just look for this blueprint. It shouldn't be too hard to find. All right, so we got a question mark. It's kind of a massive question mark. Like, it's the whole structure, so... I don't think it's going to be too easy to find. My assumption is it's probably upstairs. That's good stuff right there. <gasps> oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I don't know why it shows... <gasps> what the hell? How do I get that? Oh, don't tell me I have to, like, destroy the whole structure. Because my grinder is not good enough for that. Oh, that is super depressing if it glitched out. That or it doesn't want me to get it until I can uh, destroy whole structures. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we'll come back and see if maybe it, like, resets or something. I gotta get out of here, though. I'm gonna die. All right, and we have a fancy repaired helmet once again. Take it off. Put it on, buddy. There you go. Show that wonderful hairline of yours. <laughs> okay. Now, do I get more repair kits? Can I make those? Because if not, this is kind of scary. Um, I want to make sure... Okay, I do have more. Okay, perfect. So we'll craft two more of those in case that happens again. We might want to bring those with us. You know, I'm pretty good at falling on freaking Mars. Uh, how are my little plants doing? Looks like we're at 46%. Everything is going well, though. So that's fantastic. Ah, this feels good, man. All right, well, no sense leaving today. It's already almost nighttime, so I'm just going to gain some more EXP. Actually, I almost forgot. I have a freaking upgrade. Uh, actually, we should probably get more upgrades as well, because I got th three in... What was that? Two in electricity, 
two in materials, and three in mechanics. I've been saving them. First and foremost, we'll get our improved jackhammer because I am doing a lot of mining. There's a lot of blueprints. We still need to go down some of these trees, so I don't have many choices. I can get a fire extinguisher if I want to. That makes me nervous. When do fires happen? <laughs> Uh, radio, I have no interest in that. So we'll get the science bench and move on to the next part of this tree, uh, which is where things are going to get really interesting because we are very close to the heavy rover. So that's a big goal of mine. I've already unlocked the small accumulator. All I need is the rover blueprint, which is why I'm so blueprint focused right now. Also, if we can find the jetpack, um, man, we have a lot of really good blueprints we can get. I'm going to be very focused on this meteor defense. I have to worry about crap like that. All right, so maybe I should get that sooner than later. For whatever reason, I can't upgrade it right now. I'm assuming... Click for more information. Yeah, it's not letting me research it for some reason. So maybe I don't have something unlocked. So yeah, I really can't even spend this point yet. So we'll just keep it for now. Let's go into electricity and see if there's anything we can get in this. So I'm still trying to get the medium solar panel. So the only thing I can get is the large accumulator upgrade. I don't know if we'll drop that or not. But again, there's nothing else we can really get. Now into uh, materials. Again, I'm kind of stuck with blueprints right now. We really got to start getting some blueprints. God, if I can find that jetpack, that would be fantastic because I could fly around so quickly. So survival capsule, that's something we'll get. Uh, that will allow me to put bases everywhere. They're probably pretty cheap. And you know what? We need more storage. I'm storing things in the fridge still. So we'll get the storage cabinet and have actual storage that doesn't need electricity to open. We've had that issue before. All right, so we got the mechanics workbench. I don't know this is ordinary workbench so what's the difference or do, do these do the same thing uh mechanics what the hell am i doing oh god what what is this for oh i can get meteor defense now okay so i that makes sense i needed the mechanics workbench to unlock this it doesn't really say that anywhere though does it so that was a little confusing but lucky uh i can get blowtorch too as well I think let's play it safe. I'll honestly get the meteor defense down quicker than we need it. You know, that's something that you probably want down before you know you need it. And it's a good thing I put this down because at least we know if we get the heavy rover blueprint, we can simply unlock it here. I don't know if there's really anything else for this. I mean, I can check my inventory. There's also a container here. So I got to put um, re resources on this. But I think that's it for this. All right, a new day. The seedlings have grown, so we are finally back into farming after our constant power issues. Uh, we'll just keep that one seedling in there nice and safe. All right, but yeah, it's a new day, uh, 9 in the morning, so I want to get out as quickly as possible and go back to the base where I cracked my helmet. All right, I'm going to take a risk. Uh, I'm going to head over to the further ones that we spotted only because we already know that we're not getting this blueprint, most likely, unless I can somehow grab it through the ground. And again, I want to get some blueprints. There's multiple ones that if we can get them, it's going to change the way I play this game. So I just, I'm very focused on blueprints right now. And yeah, if I can't get this one, there's no sense stopping. We'll stop tomorrow if we come back out here. But yeah, I, I do want to loot these, but I just want blueprints right now. So we're at 62%. Uh, we started today with 77. We didn't get a full charge. I think we should be okay. It's only 1,300 meters further. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, come on. Great time to lag game, thanks. Well, this puts a, a wrench in my plans. Um, yeah, unfortunately, the terrain to get here is going to be fun, to say the least. I thought it would be a simple drive. Not the case. As you can see, I'm basically flying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why do you hate me? Please tell me I brought the freaking helmet repair kits. I don't remember if I grabbed them or not. I hate myself. I hate myself sometimes. So yeah, great. Um, uh, you know what? I'm just going back. I'm going back. Tomorrow we'll come back out. I can't, I'm so frustrated with myself, man. So yeah, I won't bore you guys with the same thing twice. Uh, I'm just going to head back, sleep today, get some actual helmet repair kits because clearly this terrain's freaking dangerous. And tomorrow, <laughs> I'm back out. Oh God. Okay. The terrain here is just insane. We're going to have to leave well early. Uh, cause I had to go through a bunch of different canyons here. And as you can see, still struggling what I would do for a jetpack. So here is the two bases. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the blueprints right away. I don't want to stay too long. I know it's only 12, 
Uh, but it did take me from eight to get here. So I need at least four hours to get home. And I probably need some wiggle room because that was very difficult the whole time uh, to get up here. So we got one right in front of me. I'm seeing we got an MRE here, which is the good stuff. That's well, a first aid kit. I'll take that, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. Uh, oh, there it is. Yes, I love that it highlights it. Okay, finally, I got a freaking tablet in this episode. I'll check that one in a second. I'm going to actually just walk over to this other one and see if we can get two here. And the other one's perfectly on the ground here. This is not even really a base. It's just a bunch of stuff. Uh, can we get any circuit boards? Actually, we do need more smalls, so we may as well check these to see. Looks like somebody was here before me. Okay, well, finally, I have gotten two. So let's use the one. Night vision. Ugh. I mean, that's kind of nice, but I don't I, I, I want. I want vehicles, man. And please, well extension. Ah, uh, I mean, I guess that will come in handy. <laughs> that's the most boring of things, though. Uh, at least they, now that we're so far away, we might be able to find some more question marks around me because we are well away from my base. Now, there is this. This is something we should go to probably right now. So I'm going to change this to the green and head over there. But also, I do want to look around and see if we got anything else out here while we're here. And yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything. Now, is that my base? Yeah, that's my base. So on my way back to the base in the middle of nowhere, we've never seen something like this. There is a question mark. So let's hit up that one. We also have... Oh, this is actually right by uh, the other base, the yellow one that I want to do. So... I don't know if we'll do that today. We'll see how much time we have by the time we get back there. But at least we know there's not one but two question marks right by the uh, other one that I couldn't obtain. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please, 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 please hold on to your helmet. There we go. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I got to deal with over here. This terrain is not fun. Well, that's weird. This question mark might not do anything. There's literally nothing here. Unless I got to dig for it. <laughs> All right, so looking at this again, we got the big circle. You only see this if you're close to it. That's telling me that there's a point of interest possibly around this. And what gets me more excited is this is uh, the ship that we saw. So I'm thinking maybe it just means there's a point of interest around this. Anyways, I went back to the uh, other one that we couldn't get that's in the uh, ground. Still can't get that one. So that one is confirmed broken or unobtainable until we upgrade our grinder. So yeah, I think I'm going to go try and power on that shuttle uh, by putting just a simple solar panel down and we'll see what happens. All right. So what we're going to do is just try and power this thing on, see if it's possible with the small solar panel because uh, we have everything we need here. So yeah, if I can't do this, I don't really know how you're supposed to get in here. But yeah, if we connect that to that, that didn't spark off. So that's a good sign. <gasps> Open. Oh, <gasps> holy crap. Could I, do Could I do that before I powered it on and I just didn't notice? I hope not. Okay, open. <gasps> oh, use. I don't want that. No, I want to open this up. I wonder if I need that in there. What the hell was that noise? Oh my god, what is this place? Because, yeah, this is obviously a door chamber that seems to move on this. What is what is up with all the seats in here? Hold on, is there more here? There's something to this. Obviously, there's something to this. Um, What time is it? Okay, we still have lots of time. We don't need to freak out. Why is there so many chairs? So, yeah, it's making a weird noise. It tells me that this is possibly broken. It's fine. It's just a big circuit board. Is that all I came in here for? Was a big circuit board? I gotta assume they're rare, but no, there's gotta be some way to open this up, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know what? We're gonna have to move on from this. I might come back to this because I don't know if it was just a big circuit board or if there's something else to this. Well, we got a little time before we need to get back home, so I thought we would finally check out this big base, see if there's maybe any um, information here on what that crash is all about. That, or at least we'll get some loot. All right, so I definitely don't need ordinary resources. I'm just looking for food. Uh, obviously, easy things to pick off the ground are nice. <gasps> what the hell? So, oh, I regret picking that up right now because I wanted to see if there was a question mark there that I didn't see because all this jimbly juke around. Yes, it's a word. Um, Okay, well, I'm really glad I stopped here now. God damn it. That makes me worried, though. Maybe I should check out some of the bases that don't have anything in them. Is this a pool? I guess this is maybe supposed to be a pool. It's obviously frozen. Uh, okay. Well, let's check this out, please. Antenna remote control. 
All right, so that's cool. I think uh, with that, I can remote control my vehicles. Obviously, I don't have any vehicles yet that can really utilize that. But when I get a mining rig, for example, I should be able to do it from the comfort of my base, which would be nice. All right, and a very quick look around. Didn't really find much else. So yeah, we'll get out of here and head back. Okay, we made it back all in one piece. So I think it's a good time to wrap up this episode here. I, I'm a little bummed. I gotta be honest that I got some of the more boring of blueprint upgrades, but uh, at least we're getting somewhere. We're getting loads of upgrades right now. All these blueprints are gonna need to get deeper into the tech tree anyways. And uh, yeah, this is fully automated now. Everything is going well. I have these things charging automatically so I can explore pretty much every day, assuming there's no storms. Yeah, things are going well, a little slow, but very, very well. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about the next few episodes. Hopefully we can get lucky and unlock some of the very important blueprints that we need. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.